memory will serve me correctly. Because you know how Tom's memory is failing. You got the brown leg horns. Red sex links. Even half a dozen of each of those. All right, guess all we gotta do is get them home then. Well, the chicky doos are home. So, what do we do? We got six red sex links. We got six brown lake horns, which are the dark brown ones. And we got a dozen Cornish rocks. Yes. So, they're the, the very yellow ones, the lightest colored ones. The red sex ones are I like that one right there. Cornish rocks. Cornish rocks, red sex links, which is basically red stars. Right. And uh, brown lake horns. And they are all huddling for warmth right now. Awesome. Hopefully, uh, we won't lose any, but do the best we can. Had them about four days now. And the Cornish rocks are getting a lot bigger already. They seem to be all happy and they're eating well. Yeah, I moved the heat lamp up. Yeah. Eight inches or whatever. It's amazing how big they grow in just two weeks, though. Jeez. If only kids grew that fast, I would have I'd had more kids, you know. <laughs> yeah, in three months they're off to college and, you know, start another batch. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome, man. They're getting big. Big birdies. Those Cornish ones are just huge. Nice. Two weeks on the money.
Well, we finally uh, brought out our our chicks, which aren't chicks anymore. The Cornish rocks. These are the meat birds. Finally brought them out to their new home. So they're tentatively walking around exploring. They're still a little nervous. Of course, it's a windy day, and that makes them even more nervous. But they're already quite large. At four weeks old, they got to be going a couple pounds anyway. so fat they waddle when they walk. They're eating machines, they eat a ton of food. They eat way more than than the bigger chickens do actually. Of course they're supposed to. They're pretty much all feathered out now. They got some bald spots, but they're pretty much all feathered. So we're thinking they should take the temperatures okay now. So we got a bunch of straw, blocked off half of it, put their feeder inside. Hopefully they'll stay in there for tonight and start adapting to the temperatures. But they seem happy enough. We'll see how it goes. Just thought I'd update a little bit. So again, this is uh, it's about four weeks, a little over four weeks. still be on some fresh grass. I enjoy that. Take her easy. So here's my uh, so-called baby chicks. Uh, they're four weeks old and they're getting very large. Very large. And all they do is eat, poop, and sleep. We've had them out overnight for the first time, and they seem to have survived that just fine. Um, they don't seem to be bothered too much. They're active. They're all eating, all drinking. So, all's good. All is good. So, these guys probably will never be let into the yard simply because they're, uh, they're going to be too fat and slow to run away from anything. So, we don't want to have any predators get them. Let's see what we can do here. Hey, dude. This camera scary. This camera scary. I think you think the camera is nice. Oh. <laughs> so anyhow, these guys eat so much food it's ridiculous, but they seem happy enough. And I'm going to try to figure out somewhat what it's cost us when it's all said and done. Oh, somebody else is interested. I got a little, one of my little chickens. He's decided he wants to come live with these guys. <laughs> but that ain't going to happen. Alright, take her easy. <laughs>